Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to your daily message for February 24th. I hope everyone is doing great. Let's see here, loves. How the day is gonna be? Well, uh, get the messages a little later from our oracles but let's first see where we are in your journey and how the things are moving around all right what do we have for this day how the energies are and whomever comes in here what we got here all right, news. As you know, yesterday we had the, the news coming, but I feel here for many, many of you, a lot of things starts to moving forward. Whatever situation you've been in or whatever relationship you've been, Eight of Wands speaks about communication. For some of you, you actually will have a conversation with somebody today and for others there is some plans which you had for a while now you feel you're ready to go and do them four of cups five of swords and ten of pentacles but also for some of you, whatever communication from whomever comes to, could be a family member or someone who you feel like family or you felt at one point like family, you don't need to please them. You know, probably many of you in the past, you, you've been way too good to some inclusive in your family or people who you consider family and now i feel here that it's kind of like whomever comes forward contacts you calls you or want to talk to you they want something or they want to give you something but whatever it's there might not be to your good purpose. So that might be considered as a warning or as something here that you got to be cautious who you encounter or basically with a specific person to be careful. Let's see, loves. You know, sometimes we do have like, you know, probably let's do this example, which is easier for many could be a co-worker which you never got along and over the sudden they try to give you some heads up hey you know I've worked on this what do you think about this like they want to make you themselves familiar or friendly with you and you know there is something here hidden okay and for others of you Pay attention to your finances, okay? Because someone here wants to get from you. Four of Pentacles, that's another four. Queen of Wands. I don't know what's going on with my camera for a while. Nine of Pentacles. Justice. Ten of Cups, which is another ten. Page of Pentacles, Judgment, Nine of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. So indeed here, whoever comes and give any offering, it's for their own pleasure. Might not be for your own pleasure. And could be certain things here related to your finances.
whatever it is out there. The four of pentacles, to be clarified for, strength. The five of pentacles, clarified by death. Page of pentacles, clarified by six of swords. And nine of cups, three of wands. Yes, someone here had certain expectations regards you loves. Whoever is this one, and whatever you are, or whatever you and your relationship is with this person. The Four of Cups clarified by Six of Pentacles and the Five of Swords clarified by King of Pentacles. So what I'm gathering here The one who I'm speaking here, you might be a Leo, or you could have strong Leo in the chart, or Scorpio. The other person I'm speaking might have Libra in the chart, and Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And what I'm feeling here... There's somebody here, and in here they have big expectation to be around you, and they are telling or promising certain things to you they might not fulfill. Because whatever they are is not a great place. And they find like the, it's kind of the, the rescue person or you can rescue them. Also, whomever is this one, they are not next to you. Eight of Wands speaks about distance. Six of Swords is distance. Three of Wands, distance. They could be on a physical distance from you or emotional. So indeed here you, you overcome already certain things with this individual. You have a history with them, probably even a past life. But also I see you way more mature than this one. And another thing here, they felt or they left you feeling broke, you know, emotionally, financially, or whatever. Something here ended. And many, many of you, you could change a lot of things in your life since this person were gone or since this person were not part of your life anymore. But you clearly know who I'm speaking right now. Let's see here what the talk is about. The Eight of Wands, this one here in the overall energy. What's the talk about? What's the talk spirit? Thank you. Give us insights about why this person contacts my beautiful souls what's that talk about what's that connection here i'm here to offer you love i'm here with an offering energy sun
I, I have Leo energy very strong here, but the sun speaks here like a rebirth. Somebody here feels like I want to start all over. One more card here. It's kind of a very lovely energy comes forward. But when I clarify this four of cups, we have the six of pentacles. So whatever this person offers is not clearly a stable one. You kind of feel that there needs more stability or whatever they are here to offer might be a breadcrumb or they offer what they think is good not necessary for you because is the next the five of swords one more card here for this eight of wands as clarifier they want to make a family or they want something real stable We've seen already the, the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Swords. But their heart is blocked. It's kind of they offer something because they feel it's good for them. But not necessarily that they are really wanting it. It's kind of they choose this to come forward, Ten of Wands. Again, it's kind of a rescue energy right here. It's like they decided to come forward. But are they willing to stay? Because speaking of who I am, Speaking in here is a single person. The one who contacts you is single. I see free. Free energy. But the Knight of Wands, all respect to the Sages, as I am one of you, the Knight of Wands is not a knight who is ready for commitment. It's quite the opposite. It's a knight who is in and out. Is a knight who, well, this is great for me. Now I'm going to take it. And I'll figure out later kind of a thing. So whoever is this one... They are taking actions. Because they found something that you can give or benefit them. But I feel here, for some of you, whoever is this one, they see something in you, not necessarily a love interest but a money or someone ha can give them something they need or they can benefit from. Yeah, that could be money. Something here that could work for them. King of Wands and King of Pentacles. We have Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Could be between an, a fire and an earth. These two kings are very good when we speak about business. When we speak about work. When we speak about entrepreneurship. That's something here for some of you. What the other person sees in you. I'm, I'm hearing here someone... Feels like, well, I'm it's like the bank. Somebody here is a banker, or somebody here has good cash flow, or something here money wise working, or makes good money. 
whatsoever again they do certain things because they feel they will get you in their trap kind of a thing you know like um like a mouse when you want to trap them because you don't want a mouse invasion in your heart in your home so this one tries to bomb you with promises love and things like that but with the two of swords here two of swords for many of you to understand is i'm not ready i'm not open and whatever i'm saying is because that's my goal to get and at any cost kind of a thing so again whoever is this one be aware let's see here actually let's see here okay one advice one advice one advice for all of you who are watching and resonates with this energy stand your ground stand up for yourself be happy on your own it's kind of like you are the shine you are the sun in your life you are the one who is shining brightly the tower I feel here whatever is gonna come might shake you whatever it's gonna said might shake you or might feel like well it's too good to be true the thing is here you don't need to change your beliefs or your mind for something you know is not quite eight of pentacles and queen of cups and nine of swords and knight of swords so you might feel here this person is really open to work on the things it's like kind of like what but i feel here this is something here which gonna come in quick but might not be to your liking it for later the advice from the oracles freedom is yours the 33 card you do what you feel is right for you co-create with spirit the crowd spirit and the mouse spirit we just talk about spirit tend to the small things we just talk about the mouse and so see here trust in the divine detours are always and never ever forget to set healthy boundaries they are very important very very important 33 speaks about number six which is about stability three there is something here you need to learn the 40 it's about stability small things one step at a time 17 that's mean eight sum up and co-create with the spirit something here regards your finances work 
and other things. And the 16 is number 7, which is quite spiritual. Whatever is coming to you is meant to come. You might try to run away from or you try to avoid. It's not avoidable. And number 3, you know, it's a also strong energy to work with spiritually and you know there's something here indeed that you need to learn healthy boundaries your stability matters most spirit is always with you in your co-creation and you are free to choose where to go what to do with who to be and to not forget off the seven, seven days a week, seven miracles in the world and much more. The divine detours sometimes going forward, the detours are, will be applied. And even we are many times overthink You got to know your worth. All right, loves. I thank you so much. Many, many blessings. And I hope this resonates with you in a way or another. And for those of you who did comment this, which I really appreciate your feedback, I will say just like this. Yes. Some of you might feel this is a pointless reading. But others will say this feels like a personal, this feels like an answer to my questions. So that's why I choose to do a daily, which many times you might consider even like an almost personal and sometimes might not. And that's why I choose to do individual science. Because indeed here, on this channel, we're growing. And as I said prior, I do what my spirit is asking me to. And I know your requests I will try to do. And simultaneously, you know that I do work on other projects. And... They caught me so, so much. And I'm not the type of in this world which everything is fast, speed, and everything. I can't do as the Spirit says this way. Everybody goes at their own speed. And I choose this speed and these messages and these readings because that I was calling to do. And yes, many probably want certain things, other things, but as I always say, go where you are energy calling you to. You want to be here? I welcome you every single time you want to go somewhere else please do because we all finding our ways our path and indeed tarot victoria might not be for each and every one but tarot victoria might be for some of you who indeed are here and wants to know this blessings loves i hope i am clear and understood clear i don't want to make any misunderstandings but know all of you i love you and i give you all my hugs and blessings and of course i will see loves tomorrow namaste